Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's discussion. First I will show you a patient. This patient came to us with right-sided facial palsy. When he tries to close his eye, we can see that his right eyeball is rolling upward. This upward rolling of eyeball is known as Bell's phenomenon. So why does this Bell's phenomenon happen? What is its relationship with upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron and why? We will discuss it today. First we have to know about the motor nucleus of the facial nerve. The motor nucleus of the facial nerve is located at the pons and it has two parts the supranucleus and infranucleus. The supranucleus or upper part of the motor nucleus of the facial nerve controls the facial muscle of the upper half of the same side and the infranucleus controls the facial muscle of the lower half of the same side. Both the supranucleus and infranucleus get nerve fibers from the contralateral precentral gyrus of the brain. But the supranucleus is lucky because it gets additional nerve supply from ipsilateral precentral gyrus of the brain. When these fibers coming from the precentral gyrus to the motor nucleus of the facial nerve are affected, this is called upper motor neuron type of facial palsy. When upper motor neuron type of lesion occurs at one side, the contralateral supranucleus and infranucleus should be affected. But the supranucleus gets additional supply from the ipsilateral precentral gyrus. So supranucleus is not affected in upper motor neuron lesion, only infranucleus of opposite side is affected. As the infranucleus controls the facial muscle of the lower half, so the lower half of the facial muscles become paralyzed. The features are drooping of the angle of the mouth, loss of nasal labial fold, dribbling of saliva through the angle of the mouth, patient feels difficulty during chewing because food tends to accumulate between gum and cheek. Face becomes asymmetrical which becomes more pronounced during a smile. But if the lesion occurs at the level of the motor nucleus of the facial nerve or below then it is called lower motor neuron type of facial nerve palsy. In this case both supranucleus and infranucleus gets affected. So the upper half and lower half of the facial muscle of the same side are affected. The features are features of facial palsy of lower half of the face which I have already mentioned plus features of facial palsy of upper half of the face and these are loss of furrow of the forehead of the same side due to paralysis of the frontalis muscle. There will be epiphora there will be loss of conjunctival reflex, widened palpebral fissure due to paralysis of the orbicularis oculi muscle. As there is a widened palpebral fissure due to paralysis of the orbicularis oculi muscle, so when the patient tries to close his eyes, we can see that his eyeball is rolling upward. This is not normally seen in normal individual because their orbicularis oculi is intact. So it is seen only in case of paralysis of the orbicularis oculi muscle which is seen in lower motor neuron type of facial palsy. So what is the relationship between Bell's phenomenon and Bell's palsy? Bell's phenomenon is seen in lower motor neuron type of facial palsy but when the exact cause of lower motor neuron type of facial palsy cannot be identified that is the idiopathic variety of lower motor neuron type of facial palsy is called Bell's palsy. Actually most of the facial palsy are lower motor neuron type of facial palsy and two third of the lower motor neuron type of facial palsy is due to Bell's palsy. In the end to concise in case of upper motor neuron type of facial palsy only lower half of the face of the opposite side is affected. But in case of lower motor neuron type of facial palsy, both upper and lower half of the face is affected on the same side. 
and the idiopathic variety of lower motor neuron type of facial palsy is called Bell's palsy. At last, can the Bell's phenomenon be seen bilaterally? The answer is yes, in case of Gwen by syndrome. Hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.